Okay, I'm coming up on the right turn. Fargo Jet Center is what this says right here. Approaching right turn, on the street north. The sign out there said it was Weather Modification Inc. Right turn at point three miles, 20 on street north. Okay, we're gonna go and see you. I'm gonna go in and ask these people. I'm just gonna play it nonchalant, like I'm just wondering what they do. Hopefully, right turn. Street north. somebody will talk to me. <clears throat> Passenger terminal. This is like a... Okay. I am here. Approaching destination on the right. 20th Street North, you have arrived. Alright. Fargo Jet, shipping and receiving. I saw a sign out there that said Weather, weather Modification Inc. There it is right there. Weather Modification Inc. So it says on there. Uh, I'm kind of paranoid with a camera out here. But that that's something right there. And all these all this weird stuff is for the weather weather modification. That is right there. There's the chemical tanks right there and whatever that thing is up there. I am definitely at the right spot. Let's go see. They got a camera on me right there. There's a big old ball on the top. I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm in. Hi. Do you know where Weather Modification Inc. is? Yeah, you're close. Am I? Are you meeting somebody? No, I just, I just kind of want to find out what they do. Let me, uh, people take you out there for you, okay? Thank you. Okay, we are in. Is this their office or? It's back. Yeah. Do they just have a yeah. pamphlet on what they're? I'm sorry. What was the? F we can visit the website. I know. I've, I've, I've been at the website. I know they say that they're they do weather modification. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, sounds good. Um, I just kind of like know how they do it. Well, they have your crop here, so we can get that final uh, price. Do, do you, they don't? Are they out there? Yeah, they have. What they do is they go out with their contracts all over the country, all over the world. And are you, uh, do you work with them? I don't. I'm a flight instructor here. Oh, so you I, are? Yeah. Oh, so you got a license? Yeah. So they go, so they do what now? So they go up, and depending on where they are in the country or the world, they're either um, measuring atmospheric conditions. Mm -hmm. They are trying to reduce hailstone sizes and thunderstorms right. by use of um, chemicals or whatever they So they do use chemicals in the air to, to manipulate the weather? As I understand that, yeah. Really? I'm not an expert on it. I mean, I can put you in touch with other people, but, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty okay. neat. And again, they do it, like, I know they've got a contract where they've actually made it rain Africa. They, there's, this place has. Mm -hmm. So they have contracts all over the world. Wow. Yep. Hmm. It's been in business for a couple of years.
couple of, uh, well over a decade now. You think, do you think any of them would talk to me on camera, doing documentary? Possibly. I can push you on Yeah, can you? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Oregon, and we're all across the United States talking to people about different things. This is one of them. Okay. About uh, weather manipulation, <laughs> weather modification, whatever. Um, from Weather Mod Inc. I'm doing a documentary actually about what they do. My name's Doug. I, I'm with me. <laughs> it's just, uh, I call it True TV. And it's just a uh, personal thing I'm doing, a documentary on just all kinds of stuff, yeah, United States. Thanks. Um, Jody, one of our weatherman pilots, and we you up in that front line Okay, thank you. Okay, you heard all that. They're coming down to talk to me. Yes. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Good. My Jody Fisher. Are you, are you one of the pilots that does the weather model? Yep. Oh, sure. Now, can you, would you like, can you be in a video of me? I'm doing a documentary about what you guys do. Can okay. you just tell me what you do? I can't I be think. in a video until I get approved by somebody else. Oh, you gotta get approved. Yeah. Get, okay, I'm only here for like a couple hours. I can't, actually came from, well not came from working to do this place, but I'm passing through. Okay. And I, it, it intrigues me that you guys, oh. what you do. Uh, yeah. Through so, is that what you do? Yep. So you fly an airplane that has chemical attachment things? That yep. We drop. use silver eye that. Silver eye that. Yeah. And it's and the reason we use it, it's inert, it's environmentally safe. Right. And the amount we're using over the area that you use, you'll never find it in the background, right. you know. Um, now, what, but, what is, but it burns and it's a, when it burns, it burns into a crystal form. Mm -hmm. It looks just like an ice crystal. So right. when you put it in the cloud, the water says, hey, it's one of my own, and it attaches to it and freezes. Okay, so it makes so it, it makes, makes clouds, basically. No, it makes ice. Oh, so it makes ice. Yeah, the cloud already has to be there. The water has to be there. Right. So the ingredients have to be there, but sometimes the ingredients are there, and in the natural process, it doesn't multiply and get going, so then nothing comes out in the rain, the snow, whatever. Right. So are there, is there currently projects going on in the United States right now? Yep. We have a project in North Dakota for rainfall enhancement and hail mitigation. Really? Minimizing the effects of hail. We have one in Calgary. So you, you can stop hail, is what you're saying? Minimize the effects of hail. Minimize the effects of hail. Yeah. Make it small. Yeah. But so can you can you cause uh, it not to rain too? No. Yeah, not my experience. So, well, so but the Chinese say they can. I don't know that they can. Yeah, yeah, because uh, you the Olympics, the Olympics yeah. right? So you know about that. Yeah. They said they stopped the rain. Yeah. Well. So we we haven't perfected that in the United States. No. Or you guys haven't. Well, we haven't. I don't think anybody has. In really? The world. The Chinese say they do, but scientifically, when they explain it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, right. So, so when you get your when you get your orders, mm -hmm. you just fly where they tell you to fly, right? For the most part. I mean, we're. When we're working, we're on a contract with somebody, a state government, a state entity, a foreign government, right. or a water district, you know, that has hired us. So we have an area that we can only fly in. Right. So whatever, whatever, area, whatever, 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 whatever your project area is. Right. Okay. And so you get you get contracts from the United States government, right? No. Nope. Or you don't? No. Nope. But other gov governments, uh, uh, other countries? Yeah, like counties. Like in North Dakota, there are four counties that get together, vote uh -huh. on it levy their taxes, and then the state, through the state of the of North Dakota, they also get a little bit of funding. I think it's like 10%. Really? And then that's it. Then they, they pay for it themselves. Um, so the like, county, the county, the state the county, government pays for it? The counties pay for it by by voting on it and levying mills. Really? To get taxes, yeah. There. Wow. Now some places, a water district, they'll take their, I don't know where their money comes from exactly, but like a watershed area. Right. And they'll take probably taxes as well and they'll set it up, vote on it. Yep, we're going to do this project. So Some the, places are power companies, like hydro water companies. They'll pay for it themselves. Right. And Calgary, an insurance company pays for it. So I saw a, the thing out there. You have the lime ones too? The, the, yep. That yep. one out there that's, that I saw in the parking lot. Yep, that's for um, uh, for snowpack in the mountains. Really? Set up yeah. up in the mountain where the, uh, you get the upslope wind. Yeah. Yep. 
And I'll pull the silver iodide. Yep. I, now I saw a thing, uh, Shasta County, California. Uh, Mount Shasta. Um, I'm not sure, but it's in California. Yep. Right below Mount Shasta, you'll hear about that. It, there was a big thing about it that the people, the residents were saying, hey, what, what are you people doing? You know what I mean? You know, I don't know if it's through you guys or... No, that we're in Shasta. Right, that that part. Where city is that near? Uh, or be the Ready. Car? Redding, California. That's north, right? Yeah, uh, Northern right California. Up yes. We're up there. We're in. The, so there's other, other. We got things? contracted in Sacramento. Oh, you did. Down there for, but that's for snowpack up near Tahoe. Right. To, to make it snow more, get more snowpack. Yeah. Right. So that their watersheds and their their water levels will fill up. Yeah. So silver iodide. That's what you guys use. That's the yeah. only thing you guys use. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. That's great. Thank you, sir. I appreciate um, it. If you want more technical information yeah, what can about you get? it, like science stuff, I can give you, this is our scientist. Okay. Bebo. I just happened to have one, so I thought I'd bring it, but uh, his right. name is Bruce Bo. And, and this can, is not a website? Yep, yeah, that's his email. You can email him, tell him who you are, and you're looking for some information. He can give you the scientific and technical information. Okay. That, uh, if you're looking for that kind of stuff. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I will uh, definitely be running around here. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Watch out. I can, I can. These, these guys are taking a radar down and changing it out. So. Is this your radar on top here? Yeah. Oh, so that's for you guys. This yeah. one here. Yeah. Okay. So, thanks. Yeah. All right, I hope you heard all that because he just got done telling me they're doing it for sure, for real, he's a pilot.